My name is Sophia Olashebiko. I'm from Nigeria and I'm doing a PhD in computing science here at the University of Glasgow. There are lots of problems in Africa that need to be solved. So my goal is to raise an army of intellectuals that are going to contribute towards the development of Africa. So PWS Africa stands for Programming Workshop for Scientists in Africa. Programming itself is a tool to solve you know, interesting problems. And computers are fast, but they are not smart. You have to communicate to the computer in a way that it would understand to solve your problem. The idea is to try to take back home what I've learned here in Glasgow, transfer it um, to students that don't have the same opportunity that I have. And this is something we would have been unable to do if, one, I wasn't a student at the University of Glasgow, and two, I did not have all of the support that they've given me. Because it's one thing being a student here, it's another thing coming up with an idea, and it's another thing having someone to support your idea. <laughs> I remember I used to do a Tuesday evening yeah. tutorial with Sophia and Sophia talked about this all the time and she yeah. said that your university had wanted you to come back mm. and show them what you had learned yeah. and she came in and said do you want to come too? And I could not <laughs> believe she was asking me. Well, while I was having coffee with Tim, so I actually had a Supervisor. similar oh, conversation. Okay. So I had a similar conversation where Sophia came up to me and was like, hey, do you want to go to Nigeria? And I said, sure, give me one second. Hey, Tim, Let me ask my Nigeria? supervisor. <laughs> said, yes. I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> The very first thing that happened when we got to Nigeria was trying to get the computer set up for Python. And it was such a nightmare. I, I took two computers home that night and I stayed up all night the night before we began yeah. trying to get Python installed. And importantly, they still got done more than yeah. I did in my first yeah. couple of years yeah. of uni. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, as head of school, it's, it's kind of like one of those things where you, an email appears and you kind of think, oh, that's absolutely fantastic. And then you go, oh, think of all the logistics that have to be sorted out and all of the, the travel arrangements. But then at the same time, I thought, what a really fantastic idea. So it was totally supportive. I think it's been a wonderful initiative. It's been a, a, a lot of work. Uh, it's been a great deal of work for her. But uh, there's no doubt that she's got a lot from it. And we're all tremendously proud of her. I think for me and my team, the experience and the impact we were able to make was worth it. And I think that's important. That was the most important um, aspect of, of PWS Africa, the impact we made. Yeah. Some of them saw where I am right now as something that they can't achieve because they thought I studied in a foreign university. Me standing in front of them, teaching them something that they aspire to know, the fact that I was also in their shoes a couple of years back, it felt like an inspiration for them. I remember one of them were talking and she started crying and I couldn't stop crying as well because she said she felt she's been wasting her time and she just didn't know how to move forward. And I told her, you just need to figure out yourself and the first step to solving a problem is to realizing there is a problem to be solved. And as soon as you know there is a problem, you're going to find a way to solve it. So I held her and told her, she can always reach out to me anytime. And there is no stopping wherever she wants to reach in life. She just has to keep working hard. So the fact that I was able to instill some confidence in them. I gave them a sort of platform that nothing is impossible for them to reach. And sincerely, that helps me sleep better at night. That I could at least do something that would move somebody. The university is not an inward looking institution. It shouldn't just be about the you know the campus or the or the or the building that you that you're based on it should be about your ability to get out and to to influence how people think and how people learn in different countries for the fact that she brought such empowerment from UK to Nigeria is really great we have so much potentials in Nigeria but sometimes it's the opportunity to actually show that 
she's an um, awesome all around awesome and she's in a good place i would want to be like sophia the workshop has was just a certain point of the things you are going to use python to do Luana is in East Africa, Nigeria is in West Africa. So we have all of those armies in different sections on Africa and hopefully Africa will start healing itself from within, you know. <laughs>